Welcome. So, are you wondering what is the best bang for buck or 5,000 bucks system you could get for your Blender slash DaVinci Resolve system? Now, I got this question through for someone who uh, messaged me and said, I'm building a workstation this week and my primary program I will be running is Blender, but I also will be running DaVinci Resolve. I need a workstation that can best handle 3D rendering and my budget is about $5,000. Man, I need you. I feel like you're the only one that just doesn't recommend the most expensive parts and focus on performance. I hope you can come through. Thanks. Okay, so we just had a little conversation and I said, I'll do a live stream and then I'll let you know. So this is what I have put together. Now, even though there is a stock availability is like absolutely, I don't think it's ever been so bad as it is right now, but uh, you know, we're still going to put a system together. Now, because the system, his budget is $5,000, which is quite a lot for a lot of people, um, we're going to go into the Threadripper system, okay? And I'd be very excited to build the Threadripper system in this channel. Hopefully, we can make one happen this year. Who knows? Um, but what we will be using is this Threadripper. Let me turn this on. Boom. Okay, let me turn it there. So... What we'll be using is a Threadripper 3950X over here. So as you can see, this over here is the Threadripper and we're going to be using this MSI TRX40 Pro motherboard. Now, if you're watching this from like anywhere around the world um, and you know, you want to get this actual system, then the links for these are in the description below. If you want to check them out for the whole system, they are in the description in there. Um, what do you think of laptops for video editing? Dimple Borgi is asking. I literally just before this live stream, I finished watching this Armando Ferreira's video about um, the uh, one of the uh, Gigabyte Aero 15 laptops, which looks absolutely amazing on video editing, but I'm not sure. I'll have to ask my my buddy um, Ben, and because he's the laptop master for video editing. But for this system, we're going to be using this uh, uh, create a Threadripper system. Now, the reason we're going with Threadripper is because Blender uses a lot of um, CPU rendering and the more threads the more cores you have the better their blender like CPU performance is and There is quite a big difference jump from like the 3950x which is a 16 core or 5950x 16 core processors which are like the mainstream processors to Threadripper processors which this one is 24 core and 48 thread processor insane processor now this is like the weakest in the third generation third ripper processors but this is going to be a massive massive performance bump the processor on its own costs around one thousand four hundred dollars and um, plus this motherboard i looked at it separately is about 515 but if you put them together we're going to get a good deal which is one thousand eight hundred dollars for the motherboard and this cpu now the cool thing about this motherboard is that let me just try to find this actually separately so I can show you this as well. Because this motherboard actually has a lot of things that you actually want for a creator and usually would purchase them ex extra. For example, it comes with this, um, this expansion card for PCIe 4.0 M.2 you know, slots. So you have two on the motherboard and then you have another two in there. And now this card is pretty cool because it actually came with my creator motherboard as well, which is the X570 MSI creator motherboard. But this will allow you to add extra two M.2 slots. Plus you get a 10 gigabit ethernet pod as well, which is fantastic. Plus let's have a look at the IO. Look, you have two gigabit LANs as well for your internet or whatever you want. Plus one 10 gigabit ethernet for your NAS. So this is like the perfect for creators. Look at that. We have eight channels of uh, DIMMs available there, but this is a core channel um, chip, which means we're gonna be using four channels for this uh, system. And we're going to get to that in a moment. But before we're going to do that, that CPU needs to be cooled down. Um, am I going to try multiple graphics cards? I'm curious how much better is this DaVinci Resolve Fusion FX. Now, um, 
You could, but right now, in this current situation in the world, you'd be lucky to have even one. But in an ideal world, you could do multiple uh, situations. But the thing is, um, you can't really get the same performance when you add the second card on DaVinci Resolve. If you add the second card, the performance gain you're going to get is like maybe up to 20 or 25%. So it, it doesn't like linearly uh, scale up like that. It scales you know, a little bit lower like that. But um, let's have a look. USB 3.2, 2.2 is okay for Thunderbolt 3. Um, my first... Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Cool, 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 guys. So this is, um, like, I think one of the best, like, uh, reliable, solid, and budget-friendly option for the CPU cooler. Now, because this is a Threadripper system, I don't know if you knew this, but the actual... IHS of the processor integrated um, heat spreader yeah integrated heat spreader is about that big it's absolutely massive so in order to get full coverage of the you know actual CPU you need a cooler that can do that and as you can see the bottom of this cooler is like absolutely massive so look at that all this area will be connected to the cpu and then it's going to cool it down now this is 114 mil 140 millimeter um fan over there but you can purchase an optional fan if you wanted to and that would cost you another 21 dollars if you want to have a push and pull configuration i think one of them will be fine but if you're doing like some extra extra stuff uh, you'll probably need another one, but there is an option for that. Um, next of all, what we need is RAM for the system. And because this is a quad channel um, system, which means that there's four channels, and because there's eight DIMMs, you can occupy two DIMMs per channel. And in order to get the fastest speed or just the fastest situation, what you need to do is have, you know, four channels or four slots occupied by the way hit that like button if you're enjoying this content um, let me know if if you're enjoying this but we're using four 60 32 gigabyte modules which gets us to 128 gigabytes of ram now that should be easy uh, for any 8k editing or that's plenty for most of the cases but because it is still quite expensive look two of these that will get us to 600 dollars so RAM is sorted, and this is 3200 megahertz. This is like the maximum supported for the Threadripper system. So it's all perfect, exactly that. It's uh, CL16 as well, so you have to uh, enable the XMP profile, but all of that should be uh, easily workable. So now, what about the SSD and how much um, RAM, how much, not RAM, how much, how system, how good is the system and what uh, operating system uh, will you be running on it? Obviously, we'll have uh, Windows in there. I hope he's running Windows. Um, so what is the like the storage system or storage layout we're going to do? We're going to be using this Sabrent Rocket 4.0 drive for the OS system, which is PCI 4.0 uh, um, system. Um, and that will be quite a crazy build. Uh, Dimple Podgy uh, as well. Absolutely. It is insane build so one terabyte for the os system should be fine you can upgrade it to two terabytes as well but do you know what it's it's all right 149 dollars that's not bad because in the uk right now it's 160 or 170 pounds which is roughly around 200 dollars so it's very good price for something like that this is insane speeds you're going to get roughly around 5000 megabytes per second read to write speeds so you want your OS system to run snappy and that's where the programs are going to be on as well now and um, then we're going to want a project drive right there we go project drive we're going to be using pca 3.0 drive this is the cardia zero z340 and i've used this on one of the latest builds if you remember we did the black and white build with the 3070 and 5900x build and that one uses this drive as the project drive and that's a very good drive very fast speeds and if you're wondering how good is um like pca 4.0 drive 
3.0 drive, just SATA SSD and hard drive and what will be the actual video editing performance in Premiere Pro, then do subscribe and stay tuned because uh, that video is coming out very soon. But we're going to be using one terabyte for that as well, so you can use all your storage or um, for the projects in there. And then we're going to add another M.2 drive if you wanted to. This is like an option now, but this would have to go into the expansion slot onto the expansion card. But this is like dead cheap SSD, right? And for that amount, you can get like a SATA SSD. And if you look how cheap this NVMe SSD is, it is ridiculous. For $100, you get one terabyte of NVMe SSDs and read speeds of up to 2,100 megabytes per second. That is four times the speed of SATA SSD. Uh, Dimple say no Thunderbolt, right? Yep, there will be no Thunderbolt, um, unfortunately. Uh, for this system, for Threadripper systems, there is not really a reliable Thunderbolt 3 option available. Um, oh, what's it saying here? We recommend you use a bit rate of... Uh, okay, let's see if I can do the... Um, saying the three bit rate is too high. Okay, let's turn it down then. Um, so, and uh, this is the storage now sorted. Let's move on to the power supply. Now, power supply is, can't stress it enough, it's very important to get a solid power supply, especially when you're doing a workstation or build like that. You don't want to put like a cheap power supply in there and then get, you know, either uh, random power draws from the power supply and you get blue screens or black screens or whatever like that because sometimes even though your system might say okay you know maximum system um, you know wattage required is maybe 650 watts or something like that but uh, sometimes the graphics card or some things just a draw like a peak current will be a lot more and then because uh, the power supply can't handle the peaks in the actual power draw uh, you might get a blue screen or something like that that's why it's good to go with like a really really good power supply and um, this one is like the cheapest i could find for a 1000 watt power supply and um, that is still like 80 plus gold certified which means just like power efficiency because this is a workstation and you'll be most likely using it, you know, most of the days and most of the day. And um, the more power efficient it will be, obviously, it's going to start to affect your actual power um, or the energy bill as well or the electricity bill, which would be good for you to know as well. Is So anyway, this has eco mode as well and all sorts of stuff. So plenty for power to power everything and uh, our CPU, GPU and the rest. And then, um, you know, gives you enough power. Jesse's saying, have you done any videos on NAS stuff? Jesse, I'm still waiting for Seagate to send me the drives. I've got a NAS over there waiting to be filled out. But um, just because of the shipping and the worldwide situation, it's taken so long. So NAS system is coming out soon. Um, who knows? They said they will be coming within a week, uh, but I've been chasing them up for quite a while. So we'll see when this is going to come. So power supply sorted for this friend. Next of all, because this doesn't have Wi-Fi, depends if you need Wi-Fi, you can buy this uh, Wi-Fi adapter as well. This is Wi-Fi 6 dual band PCIe adapter plus Bluetooth 5 as well. So if you're using any Bluetooth keyboards or things like that, then this is that. Uh, yeah, I can't wait for the NAS videos. Yeah, me neither. Uh, honestly, like, sorry, I'm getting distracted here a little bit, but um, like NAS is one of those things that is like quite boring for quite a lot of people, but I don't know why I think this is like such a cool and exciting thing, exciting product, you know, where, where you're going to have some storage system going on and in order to configure that, you know, right and to get backups and things, I don't know. It's just like a nice system and things going on. Um, but because I've got like another 
NAS here as well, uh, like from, for, um, for our church, which means that um, I'm going to have to see if I have to get like a switch or all that going on as well, because, you know, uh, I don't have enough parts on the computers and on the Wi-Fi router to share the internet with it in itself, you know, just like the mesh network thing going on. So um, I'm going to have to do that, um, figure that out. So, you know, we'll see. Any tips, anyone? I'd love to know from you. Any tips from Nas, you know? But yeah, we'd have to build some kind of system. But this one over here is then the, um, the Wi-Fi adapter. And obviously for $70, you can probably get a cheaper one, but I just looked for like a solid one over here because, you know, if you want a $25, um, dollar one you can get that but i think you want something solid which i think this this will be something uh, you know absolutely solid look at this someone's running noctua nhs d uh 15s over there nh 15s why is it no oh, yeah it is 15s look at those noctua coolers two tower one actually this is not even a noctua nhd 15 this is some kind of a threadripper two tower one and uh, that's insane Dennis is saying hi. Um, usually we get the tips from you. Okay. Uh, yeah, but sometimes, you know what? I get some tips from you guys as well. Um, so we've got the Wi-Fi done. Let's move on to the next one. Where are we now? Okay. So this one is for the case. Uh, I'm going to show you which case we're going to use. We're going to use the same... 5000D airflow by Corsair or from Corsair because that is a really good airflow and especially for thread ripper system everything is air cooled for us we want you know good airflow through this and the system to be cooled down it's good enough of a build so that it's um, actually stays um, like cool and it's quiet and it's good of a case that it's big enough, so there's plenty of air going through. But we're going to be using these um, like value back. There's five van fans. There's five fans. There's five fans um, here, and uh, these are 120 millimeter, like um, quite good speed fans as well. Very quiet motors, so you'll be using these, and then we're going to spread them out in this case. Now, there's an option to go black and white. I would personally go black with this. If I have a white one, I might like you know color it different color, but this one uh, is what we would be going for. There's two already attached in there, but then we're going to be adding another five, so two in the front, maybe another two on the top and then one from the side to kind of blow in from the side as well but we probably have to move the uh, side cover because our motherboard is uh, e80x there hi Denise, how are you i am very good thank you very much for asking so now our um, you know we have everything but the graphics card and what is going to be the graphics card what are we going to do so let me just take the wi-fi out at the moment because you might not need that and i'm not sure if you need the third ssd as well for your cache drives or you know just your temporary project files i'm going to take that off for acceptance as well and then this one off over here so now what we have is the bare bones system we have our case fans ram motherboard and the cpu power supply to SSD configuration and our cooler and we are coming at three thousand three hundred and nineteen dollars and his budget was roughly around five thousand dollars which means that we are around one thousand and seven hundred dollars for the graphics card what are we going to do for the graphics card now the thing is, because you're using DaVinci Resolve as well, and you've got quite a high-end you know, system, for $1,700, you should be able to get a 1390. Now, I know I said should because the 1390's MSRP is roughly around $1,500 or $1,400. So... There's another few hundred dollars to go for. We'll, we'll see what happens. Um, NVIDIA said that the stock will 
you know maybe normalize after april so april is very soon we'll see how this is going to end because um nvidia's q1 is going to end after the you know after april or in around april time so we're going to see how the stock situation in the world changes but this is the system i would be putting together for blender and davinci resolve now i'm going to show you in a moment um, as well how good this is on davinci resolve uh, or some of the puget systems um, like davinci resolve um, systems so let me look this up um, so how are you guys doing any questions what are you guys doing davinci resolve if you have any other questions how i could help you with i'm more than happy to do that um not thread ripper pro i know if you look on amazon or any other places like the gpu actual system the gpu will be like three thousand dollars for 3090 but you know um does he need a keyboard and mouse he didn't mention a keyboard and mouse but the bk makes is saying um a space mouse for 3d work is huge in windows my top tip for you thank you very much bk max makes are quadro cards too expensive for this build now the thing this is that quadro cards don't have that much of an advantage over uh, like you know 3080 or 3090 um you have to get a very high-end quadro card in order to get it to perform better for example the um, by the way the new nvidia cards aren't called quadro cards they're called like a a, a whatever so the the latest or the most powerful quadro or workstation card right now out there is a6000 uh, which has i think 48 gigabytes of vram and if you look at it it is slightly just like a few cuda cores and a few tensor cores and just on the paper it's just a little bit better than 3090 but it costs around four thousand dollars or four thousand pounds or something like that which is just like twice so you know even more the amount or as 3090 so if you want like more budget system 3090 or the normal you know geforce cards um 3000 series will be very very good as well um when people says for the Vinci Resolve you could use two times 3070s if necessary or 3080s if they fit. And yes, in order to actually get a performance, if you want like the best performance, instead of 3090 I would actually go for two 3080s because the performance will be better and the price should be cheaper as well if MSRP actually mattered. You know, for the same MSRP you should be able to get two 3080s and run them together um, on, you know, uh, DaVinci Resolve, which is interesting. Like Puget System tested that and you get the gain should be better than 1390. But let me just show you the CPU roundup. Okay, let me see articles. Right, then a 5,000. CPU Roundup AMD 5000 DaVinci Resolve. There we go. So, let me get this one back up. So, now we have the uh, DaVinci Resolve. Um, this is version Puget, Puget Bench for DaVinci Resolve. So, we can see a lot of the processes out there. Now, the Threadripper systems are all on the top and as you can see there's a big jump over there if you've seen like my DaVinci Resolve videos before um, especially like what's the best CPU then you know you'll see that this is the same what's happening over here um, a 90s uh, baby is asking when are we releasing the build video for this previous PC build I did it's coming out tomorrow 4 p.m. UK time just whatever time that is uh, for your um, you know time it's already scheduled 
there's two parts of this that's coming out like one where we're building the hardware and then one where we i uh, focus the whole video on the software because during the build there were some things that went wrong so i left it all in there on the software side how i troubleshoot shooted it uh, or troubleshot troubleshooted troubleshot uh, it and then i left it all in and the reason uh, i had to wait for this you know build video to come out is because um i needed to release uh how to update the bios and how to do the windows um like usb stick because i'm talking about them on the actual build video so these needed to come first so monday wednesday they came out so tomorrow today is thursday right yeah on friday um it should come out well it is coming out just so you know um so dane chronister is saying probably watched all of your builds multiple times and learned something new every time i rewatched them you have inspired me to build my first pc coming from mac what's next for tech notice what's next for tech notice um to be honest like i'm just taking every day at the time i know like in the world at the moment um everyone's talking about you know grinding five-year plans and things like that um i don't i don't know i just i live simply i live like every day a little bit at the time and just see what's what's next um obviously i would love to have a threadripper system myself but like i can't afford it myself so i would love to be able to do that um but you know i'm much like in 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 most of the people who are in this you know uh, channel in the same situation where you know you're just trying to find the best bank for systems whatever you're doing or wherever you whatever you're doing and um, so that's that's what i'm doing um i'm trying to find the best bank for systems here and building and trying to you know help you guys out every day thinking okay what would you guys what would you like to see uh, what would like to watch what would help you guys what cash questions you might have so if you have any questions or any like things you'd like to figure out because i'm constantly trying to put myself into into your head like thinking hmm what would help them or sometimes i'm thinking flipping egg i don't know how this works i'm trying to figure it out and then sharing the experience with you so you can have it much quicker and easier as well so if you have any questions at any time feel free to send an email or dm me uh, somewhere um, so we can make this happen but what's next i'm quite excited about the nas uh, what systems what else is going out um the owl build peter mckin owl build is still waiting here so you know i thought s someone was going to buy it but now i'm streaming actually from this pc over there so when someone is editing um, on the main rig then i am using this one or editing as well so it's good to have two pcs actually now but it is it's free it's free it's not free it's kind of free in terms of like you know someone can use it but that's what's happening in there um so hope that answers your question dane then let's have a look um jasper is saying can you play fortnite no i can't play fortnite I don't know how to play it. I'm not a gamer. So that's it. And Texas is hanging in there. How are you? I'm I'm good. I'm all right. I'm hanging in there. Um I think it's like it's not like necessarily where I'm flowing with great juices and I'm absolutely buzzing, you know. It's just winter's coming. We can see spring. So there is some hope coming in here. I don't know if you can hear those birds singing in the tree outside. Can you hear them? windows open a little bit so you should be able to see that and um, so it's a little bit like a random you know time of year and trying to see what's what's going on with um you know the the country you know are we going to go on another lockout lockdown and trying to put the vaccines out and then they're not working so uh we'll just have to you know have to um roll it out and night this baby is saying thank you no problem. Yep, it's coming out tomorrow. BKMX is unrelated, but have you reviewed the DaVinci Resolve Speed Editor or any plans to? Um, BKMX, no, I haven't. 
like my editing software of choice is DaVinci, uh, sorry, Premiere Pro. So hence I haven't done a lot of um, content on DaVinci because I just feel like um, I can't do like much on it before I really feel like, yeah, I can talk something about it. Cause you know, imagine I show you something and they're like, why is he doing that? That's just a stupid way of doing it. You know, you could be doing much easier. So I haven't done that, but I've thought about, you know, using um, DaVinci Resolve as well um, on some of the videos because um, that could like help a lot of people as well. Let me get this a little bit bigger here. How's this? Does that look better for you? Um, we have S J Mean Green. Uh, the video quality on this live stream is amazing. Oh, thank you very much. I hope it's okay. This is uh, S Cinetone, by the way, coming from Sony. So let me know how it how it looks. It's interesting. Like I've got the computer screen, camera monitor, and then the actual flip out screen, and then the picture on all of them looks slightly different. So anyway. One day at the time, don't burn yourself out. That owl build is gorgeous. I know that owl build is um, absolutely like amazing. Like for me, one of the nicest builds I've done. Like, I don't know about you, but my style of PC is like where it needs to have a certain uh, style or some kind of like a minimalistic things. I like when, when things are minimal. So for example, I know blower cards or blower graphics cards aren't like, you know, performing as well as non-blower cards because the the cooling performance is actually worse sometimes. Um, but I love the minimalistic design of blower card because if you look at like a blower graphics card, for example, the the AMD Radeon fifty seven hundred XT, then that that reference card or that blower card is just so beautiful just so minimalistic and just a little bit i just like stuff like that so i'm hoping that that type of design comes through like the pcs as well so that's what i'm hoping to do um agree with project icon love the owl build what's your current lighting setup so bk makes is asking what's the current lighting setup do you mean on the pc or on this like what's this setup over here if you're wondering this lighting setup i have a massive like a key light over here that's that i've been running for years now it's by falcon eyes falcon eyes if you're watching this i've been trying to send you some emails for a long long time to review other lights i absolutely love them i think they're awesome but um you know, we'd like to collaborate. I doubt Falcon Eyes is one of those 24 people who are watching this live. But, you know what? One day it might be. Um, on you. So, there's one massive key light coming here. This It's slightly forward facing, but kind of down. So, I'm not having too big of a panda eyes. So, that's what I'm wanting. I tried, like, the sideways thing as well. But because um, there's not too much room over here to put a fill out and things like that. So, I thought, like, a bit of a flat lighting over here is a bit better. Then, on the top over there, there's a hair light. As you can see, this one over here. So, if I switch that off, you'll see it actually makes a massive difference. See? How I'm blending into the background now is not as nice as this. Boom separates me from the background now in the back over there i just have a few pocket rgb led lights going on like something like those two inside those boxes over here one in there one in there two behind me over there as you can see boom lighting out the background making it orange and then we have the firelight over there and that is the lighting setup there is a little bit of if you can see actually there's like this side of my face is slightly uh, lighter because the window over there there's some light coming from the window as well but that is uh, the lighting setup um so film Corp is saying have you done videos about raid system uh, and also about monitor monitor that was a weird pronunciation you know sometimes i just pronounce things and they come in so weird um about a rate system no i haven't what particular thing are you looking for uh, are you looking for like a nas system because that's coming coming soon um just a little sneak peek um obviously i haven't filmed it anything but when i say soon you know because there's an upload schedule as well you know have like a week ahead of things planned already scheduled so 
it will come in weeks time but soon 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 uh, and also about a monitor yes i have done like a pro monitor which um, is quite popular if you just type in on youtube like tech note is best bang for buck monitor or tech note is monitor or best bang for buck monitor it should come up my video should be like one of the first ones over there um and that is like pro grade monitor where like the color accuracy is like a big thing. I haven't done like a budget version uh, so much. So let me know if any of you are, um, you know, looking forward to that like budget version of a monitor as well. Because I've been thinking, you know, 600 pounds or dollars for a monitor. And that's not for like most people. Uh, I know like professionals or actual working professionals in the field for them. It's like, yeah, I just I just need it, you know. I can't look at the monitor and then publish it and then people are like, you're magenta or, you know, weird. So they need the color accuracy. But if maybe you're starting out, let me know if, if this is something you'd be um, looking forward to. AB7H2003 says, hello, hello. 90s baby, I want to invest in a PC now, but it's weird coming from Mac with the airdrop and all the benefits. I have not used Windows in so long. Is it possible so simplify transfers in Windows? A weird question. I'll have to figure that out. I don't have a specific, like very easy answer for you, a uh, 90s baby, but um, there is a way of like creating a NAS in the Wi-Fi system, in your home network system, and then dropping or, you know, downloading files from there so it is possible and um, maybe we'll be looking um, into that um sorry i'll just show this comment uh, project icon is saying i would love to see you make a bank for book minimalistic micro itx builds now um yes i'd love to do that as well uh, for creators especially because i think uh, the if you know a channel called Optimum Tech, they do a lot of um, minimalistic and like small ITX builds. He loves to make like small PCs basically. But most of the time these are for gaming and overclocking and water cool and things like that, which is slightly different approach from creators. So, you know, I'd love to do that as well. Yeah. Uh, BK Make, Make says, is that a flat LED panel? Yes. So this one is like a flex LED massive light it's like 18 inches i think like that wide over here um and then this one is an led panel as well but this is put slightly yellower color temperature so it like have a yellow glow especially when you when you see on this side like a yellow glow on there so that's uh, what's going on um mike chan is saying do you have suggestion on dual gpu with ryzen 5900x and x570 board is there any benefits of having two gpu build for after effects premiere pro and c4d user cinema 4d user right now or one good gpu card is good to go the answer is very simple don't go for two cards the actual benefit you're going to get from the second card is is not worth it if you want if you can buy two cards just buy one of the best card you can you can buy and the, that will be better for you because it doesn't scale that well so like two gpus won't give you two times the performance it will be like one point especially in premiere pro and after effects you'll get like one point you know one five or one point two maximum uh, percent uh, of this what well, not percent but 1.2 times the performance not two times performance um so definitely not going for that so if you can go go for 1390 or if you can buy the quadro it's not quadro um nvidia rtx a6000 card that is like the best card you can buy right now for content creation but it's going to cost you dearly as well um yeah big difference what's the hair light this hair light over here is a uh, very cheap it's i've made these i can't remember now i reviewed these panels on my channel uh they're dead cheap like the cheapest panels you can find um so i'm just have like i have a c stand over here do you know what? i'm i need to i've been thinking about like doing like a studio tour because uh it's like a secret loft youtube studio 
Um, so maybe I should do a tour uh, for this. Let me know if you guys would be interested because I haven't actually shown the full studio. You've seen like parts of it and it's constantly changing, but I think I'm quite a bit settled down now. So, um, you know, I wonder if people would be interested seeing seeing that. Um, I think it was you that suggested it, but the BenQ PD 3200U is cheap and awesome monitor. Yes, it is BKMX. Absolutely. Film Corp is saying, um, at 8K at BKMX, is this monitor good for professional work? Yes, it's absolutely good for professional work. It's got like, you know, 100% Adobe or sRGB. Sorry, I'm just going to close this window because it's getting freezing. Uh, there's like 100% a uh, Adobe. No, I think it's 100% sRGB, 100% Rec. 7 on 9. So if you're doing that type of thing, it's very good. If you're grading your videos, for example, to Rec. 7 on 9 later, then this is perfect. If you're working with a lot of like log and maybe wider color color cam color gamuts, then um, you know it's worth thinking about getting like pr proper video editing like special monitor that has like a, a wider color gamut range as well, supported. But this is really, really good, you know. There's like a little puck on it as well that I'm using all the time on the monitor. So if, for example, um, it's very dark room, I'm using the Rec. 709 setting on there, like one sec, one, you know, button and boom, it goes Rec. 709, the screen is dark and, you know, Rec. 709. And then if I'm actually color grading or sRGB or something like that, or if I'm using uh, and I want low blue light, there's like a three settings you can put in there. It's very, very, very good. Um, it also has a great adjustment puck to switch between cat low blue light. Oh, literally BKMX is literally just saying that. Um, yeah, thank you for the answer. This is good. Yeah, I hope this has been good. So uh, if there is any questions, let me know, guys. But I've been kind of getting distracted. But what I wanted to show you is, oh, sorry, I'm gone now. Let me go on the other side. There we go. Let's do this now. Um, okay, let's make this a little bit smaller now, just for the sec second. So this over here is the um, like DaVinci Resolve now. And as you can see, from going 5950X over here to the 24 core thread ripper system, there is a very big jump. And that's why we went with this one. And if you're wondering blender option, that is that as well. Blendering, blendering, blendering things. Um, rendering videos in Blender, you want like loads of cores, loads of threads, and that's it. This is thus, thus is what we have over here as well. And as you can see, like Intel isn't even nearby over here. And there we go. Now, Threadripper Pro system is like another thing. Um, I might make a video. I did re record a video just before between the Threadripper and Threadripper Pro. Like, what's the actual difference? What do you gain when going with Threadripper Pro? Because you're going to pay a lot, a lot of money over the Threadripper to, for going Threadripper Pro. A Threadripper Pro is like specially made for like workstations and people who do like scientific research or like full on workstation and they need like, I don't know, eight GPUs, for example, in there. Because, um, you know, some of the programs actually can utilize that not a GPU, but four GPUs or something like that, because it has 128 PCIe 4.0 lanes. Insane. Anyway, but as you can see, even the 18 core Intel is way, 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 way like lower over here. And this one over here is only like $400 cheaper. Um, but look at that, how much worse this is. So I think through the system, that 24 core one is absolutely amazing. So for 4K media, uh, score it's literally if you're doing any 4k editing you literally like the best what what you can get well actually Threader pro is a little bit better but there we go even but yeah just stay tuned for the third ripper pro video because um there's some interesting things for that um film copy saying do you know motherboard with thunderbolt 3 and can support ryzen third gen or 5 gen Yes, I do. Please watch my latest black and white build um, and you will see that um, the build video for this is coming out tomorrow. 
like when, when I'm actually building this, but the first two parts are coming out. I've already been out. So um, yes, that motherboard that I'm using over there has Thunderbolt 3 and Ryzen system, so you can use that. Uh, which card uh, do I use to record on my Sony A7S III? Uh, Franz is saying, I am using three cards. I have one from ProGrade. Then I have one from, uh, actually two from, um, uh, what's it called now? Shoot. Come on, name me the cards. It's, uh, it's, uh, it starts with L, I think. Oh my word, why can't I remember this? Uh, Lexa, Lexa cards, that's it. Lexa cards. There's two Lexa cards. One is like um, V90 card, and then one is V60. So I have two V60 cards, and then one V90 card. From you, uh, Robert Yates is saying, uh, I just found a video from you about GPUs. I thought, I wish there was one about Blender. Then I clicked on your channel and now you're live streaming about it. Perfect. What a good, perfect cong uh, congratulations. Cong uh, you know, um, what's it called? You know, con, uh, cons oh, I'm going to tie it now. It's uh, 10 to 5 here in the UK. Um, yes, Robert, just watch it through. This guy literally said I want it for Blender and for DaVinci Resolve. That's what I'm using it for. So this, I believe, is what is the best system for it. Um, and I'll just leave the Amazon basket here somewhere. There we go. So this system will be like absolutely amazing. But the only thing missing is uh, the graphics card. So hopefully you will get the graphics card soon. Oh, it's like one way or the other way, somehow get a graphics card. Um, General John is saying, what is this live about? Basically, um, if you watch this replay or if you scroll back, you can see that uh, I was talking about building a $5,000 bank for book system or best system you can get for $5,000 for DaVinci Resolve and Blender or mainly Blender and then DaVinci Resolve so we're using a Threadripper system that's what we built but now I'm just going through um, the comments and literally asking and answering anyone's anyone's comments um, what's going on coincidence that's it project icon thank you coincidence that's that's what what I'm uh, looking for here um, so we have Okay, there we go. Let's see if I can make this a little bit bigger. Oh, there we go. That's much better to see. I'll just put that layer like that. Um, uh, Kishore ha Hallmark is saying, any CPU, is there any CPU that beats the 3900X in terms of value under $1,000? Uh, do you mean the CPU purely for $1,000 or do you mean the... Um, the whole system for one thousand dollar but honestly like i made the video last year but even this year the 3900x is an unbelievable processor for the value um 12 cores what do you get with it you get the cooler as well it's like insane 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 uh, what you can get for it uh brian rogers says i've been a mac user my entire life what are your best recommendation for keeping Windows safe outside of not using the admin account? Do you find Microsoft Defender to be adequate? Um, so, if not using the admin account, I'm not sure what you mean there exactly, but if you just mean like, you know, viruses and stuff like that on, uh, on Windows, then I think Windows is completely okay if you, if you just use it you know, for as you do, like as soon as you start, if you want to go to some dodgy sites and do dodgy stuff, you know, and, and watch dodgy stuff, then um, obviously you're going to start to get viruses and stuff like that. But like I try to use, well, I've been keeping all my like PC for just purely work and, you know, using, you know, secure sites or normal sites. So I haven't had any like virus problems. 
So hopefully that will that. Uh, would you have 180, 28 gigabytes of RAM or something? Yes, General Sean. John, if you, um, you see, that's that's what I did. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention if there is anybody who wants to know that. Um, the I left a few uh, motherboard suggestions in the links in the description as well. Um, there's like a few sections if you can't find that exact motherboard available, but I think this one is like the best value you can get but if that is not available there's uh, another gigabyte two gigabyte boards available actually there if you want to check them out but there we go links in the description um purely cpu purely cpu for thousand dollars yes if you want uh the best cpu under thousand dollars then obviously the answer is 5950x because it costs roughly around eight hundred dollars or something like that, somewhere around there, and that's the best you can get. There's nothing that Intel can Intel Intel can offer um, that would be better. But yeah, fifteen uh, fifty nine fifty X would be the best. And um, any of you guys like actual video creators as well? I'd like to like check out. Can I see the channel somehow? Do you have any of? Can I see the channel? No, I can't see the channel. Just can't see the channel. Jesse Rogers is saying the system won't be that fast. Not enough RGB. Every no, everyone knows RGB adds adds so much performance. Um, if you're gonna see the video tomorrow, you'll see like a really cute uh, thing with my son. Um, like he came up and. And uh, when I was building this PC, and you'll see this in the intro, and he was saying like, oh, you're going to turn it on, and it's all going to go rainbow colors. But the funny thing is, you know, the PC I was building uh, didn't have any RGB, and it didn't have, you know, it was just minimal. minimal. So we had this very cute conversation. You'll see it tomorrow. Um, would you still recommend the B550 Vision D for Premiere Pro? Absolutely. By the way, the motherboard doesn't actually affect the performance of the application. For example, Premiere Pro, um, CPU and GPU and RAM are the ones that affect this. Motherboard is just the ones that bring them all together. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's it. Hit that like button if you have found this um, helpful so far. Best GPU for $2,200. Let's have a look. Let's have a look what is available for $200. Okay, my friends. So, um, let me put this down there. So you guys can see that. Gigabyte B550 Vision D versus MSI B550 Unify. Now, the question is, do you need Thunderbolt 3? Or do you think you will need Thunderbolt 3? If you do, there is nothing like the Gigabyte B550 Vision D. By the way, I don't know if you've seen the video yet, but there is like an updated version of the Vision D out that also has the front panel USB-C port available if you need that. But... Let's have a look at this graphics card. 5600 XT for $1,000. You've got to be joking. Now this 3070, see? It's, it's in stock, but $1,700. This is ridiculous. Um, GTX 1660 Ventus, $749. That is insane. Now, if you've seen the best bank for buck budget workstation video on my channel, the black and uh, red build, then I used the 1660 card in there. It was from Sotac, by the way, but I paid roughly around 200 uh, pounds for it. So that is ridiculous. Um, best GPU, I think he's made me... Ryzen 5 3500X uh, GPU. 
yeah i think he's meaning gpu so let's have a look what do we have 1650 for 479 This is ridiculous. 3070. Oh, look at that one star review. Let me see that review. What's it said? Don't buy this. Intim is extremely overpriced. Nearly three times MSRP. Yes, it is helpful. I'll report. It is very helpful. Um, but you know what? You know, supply and demand. Look at that. Two hundred dollars. RX fifty five hundred. Sorry, 550. It's a pants card, especially for video editing. It's ridic ridiculous. Uh, I'm a creator using MacBook Pro 2017 16 inch and desktop with 48 20K, neither of them giving satisfactory rendering speeds. Yep. I mean, if you sold them both, you could probably get quite a good system be put together for like, you know, 1500 maybe or something like that and um, so that's that tips for beginner camera for video production project icon hmm do you know what um i've actually been thinking about doing more camera related stuff as well and maybe you know um doing an update on like the review of you know six months on sony a7s2 i've probably made 50 to 100 videos on it now so um we'll be interested interesting you would be interested it would be interesting to see what what it would be do but yeah um beginner camera for video production if you want the best bang for buck video production camera i think you won't get a better one than this i know this is uh, not like the most you know affordable one but the specs and the things you're gonna get with this is like not not beatable with any other camera I think you're gonna get so many pro features that you can tinkle with you have amazing video quality you have a lot of options of lenses you can adapt to it probably the best um, lens you can or camera you can get um, Brian Rogers Jr. is saying, while I'm waiting on Apple to release uh, the redesigned Apple Silicon iMac, I'm considering building a PC, but I've realized that buying a GPU is nearly impossible. What is the deal with the GPU shortage? I've been hearing about Ethereum mining. Any ideas what that even is? Yes, so basically, I'm sure you've heard of cryptocurrency, and basically how you can do cryptocurrency is mine it. You know, like, so people take their, you know, graphics cards and, you know, they've got this metal end. So you just have to go outside and use it on your asphalt in front of you and then just, you know, do it very, very often, very sharp. And then you might mine some cryptocurrency. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. But people are mining cryptocurrency. Where are we? There. Um, which means that um, all the graphics cards, the miners who actually use these, the massive farms of mining, they buy a lot of them. And the graphics cards are out of stock because the pandemic last year, when the factories closed yeah, last year, we're, it's affecting us now. So it's not out there. NVIDIA has said that their supply you know, shortage will be until Q1 of 2021, which should end in April or somewhere around April. So we'll see if anything changes. But, you know, the bots and no one's doing nobody any favors. So GPU is very, very hard to get. But I think in the next few months, we'll see it normalize a little bit more when, you know, the GPU hungry and mining hungry people um, have got the GPUs. But uh, that's that. Um, so they're just mining like a different cryptocurrency. You can mine like loads of different cryptocurrencies. Uh, but that Ethereum is one of the cryptocurrency you can mine. And that's why it's it's gone. 
Uh, hopefully that answers the question, uh, Brian. Um, uh, Jimmy is saying Ryzen 9 3900X for 485 or Ryzen 9 5900X for 680. I'm a colorist. Bank for buck appreciated. So if you're a colorist, bank for buck appreciated. Um, Thirty nine hundred X depends uh, where you're using. Are you using it for DaVinci Resolve or not? Uh, definitely use thirty nine hundred X. Will be best bang for your buck because I know in the Premiere Pro, Lumetri color is actually accelerated through the GPU, so your GPU will be accelerating that effect if you're using this for that. But Jimmy, I would go for thirty nine hundred X. That would be the most bang for buck over there. The 5900X will be better if you're doing anything else, like any photo editing, any like that needs single core performance, then the 5900X will be a much better option because that's like overall, it will be much snappier because the single core performance will be better. So Shahid is saying Corsair 500, the Airflow or NZXT is 710. Like if you're a creator and you actually care about the, um, you know, performance, or the you know heat inside your components uh, of the in the case, and then don't get any NCXD cases. They're they're pants. Ryan, new viewer. Hi Ryan. Wind people says, please do a camera video. Yes. Okay. Might have to do that. Um. That's good. In India, RX is RX five seventy is available two hundred dollars. Yeah. But you know, it's not like amazing card is it in terms of videos editing especially and um, Jesse's saying let's say you go raid crazy with your drives and get a large really fast drive and use it for everything will the performance be worse than separating projects cache and OS files on separate on rated drives Will the performance be worse than separating project cache and files while separate? Um, no, Jesse. It it won't be. It won't be worse. I don't think, um, because like the most professional workflow. If you look at like the people who, who have like a big, big, big multi-million dollar businesses and use of editing, then they are all editing straight from NAS. So there's like literally a uh, RAID system now somewhere really fast and then bloom, they um, edit the project from there. So definitely if you have a very fast, um, you know, drive over there, it's uh, or NAS, then it, no problem. Um, oh, thank you, man. Long term business investment. Indeed. Um, BK makes says, uh, oh yeah, they're laughing about the, the mining. Are you interested in mining crypto while your PC is idle? Project icon is saying, I don't know, to be honest, like I'm not that, you know, um, informed about the, um, the mining of cryptocurrency and things like that. Um, I'm not. Honestly, I'm not doing it, and like, I don't know, it just doesn't sit right with me, really. Because I think whoever is mining crypto, everybody else is kind of um, suffering because of it. Either the graphics cards aren't in stock, or it's not like a, I don't know, you know, mining cryptocurrency doesn't make the world a better place, basically. I don't like it. Just my opinion. Um... What do you think about the laptop, Gigabyte Aero, RTX 3074K, 6K RAW editing? I think it's absolutely fantastic. If you've seen um, Armando Ferreira's video just recently, uh, he released it, I think, today. Uh, check it out. It's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, 
Um, Brian is saying various manufacturers make an RTX 3090, Nvidia, Asus, EVJ. What is the best one to go with? What is the real difference between graphics cards and manufacturers? Um, basically, um, there the difference is a design, what components they're using, and they just wrap up the you know price because they all get pretty much the same reference board, and they just build their own cooling on top, and then they might have like their own. BIOS configurations or tuning or overclocking or things like that. So some manufacturers say like OC board, um, for example, the look at that. If you look at this one over here, oh, come on, see it says OC over here is like overclocked. So they are running some kind of overclock on this gigabyte. And so they've overclocked it slightly, but can I be honest? Like as a creator, you just literally buy the, the cheapest one. You won't really see the difference. That's it. Um, T Legends is saying, do you think I should buy Rode pod mic? Um, I don't know, maybe. Would you recommend vertical mounting the GPU or not? Shahid is saying, I wouldn't do that because the you're just gonna have to get um pci riser cable which means just like extending the pci slot from the motherboard down to the case and then facing up and then you can get all sorts of problems with the pci riser cable so just you know i know it looks cool or something like that but it just adds another thing in the thing in your system that can be broken or you know i wouldn't do that Tech Basics is saying 5900X or 3950X Pro, bang for buck, appreciated. To be honest, in that case, I would go with 5900X because that is definitely more bang for buck than 3950X. Unless you get the 3950X with a ridiculous deal, then it's worth going with that one. Um, and maybe if you're doing a lot of multi-core rendering, not actually even that, the 5900X is, is, is better because it will be better in so many different things. That's why I, I use that processor for the black and white build for this um, this year because it is literally like it's like the jack of all trades. It can do everything so well, and for the price you're paying, it, it, there's no match really to it. Um, so definitely, the 5900X is a better option. And if you're wondering, Premiere Pro, the 5900X and 3950X. They basically perform on par with each other. What do you think about Linus Tech Tips is doing a system that only gamers can get the new AMD GPU? Um, I think, whatever. I think AMD GPUs are meant for gamers. If you're a content creator, stay away from team red okay if you cpus yes gpus no 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 way jose unless you want to we'll break our vows together Encarnacion. sorry <laughs> that i lost it there um let me know if you know which film that is from what should i upgrade first if i want a better pc depends on your PC setup but if you can maybe uh, your CPU um, my two cents the road link filmmaker kit is great T ledgers um, tech basics 50 <laughs> Nacho Nacho it's an absolutely mental film um, that you're paying premium for upfront. Best CPU in the market at the moment, absolutely. Uh, da, da, da. Tech Basics is saying India versus England live uh, T20 cricket matches going on live. I didn't know that. I I'm not like a big cricket fan. Sorry. Uh, don't actually watch any sports to be honest so sorry to disappoint you all 
Uh, then the tiny hamsters that run the cores inside will fall out. <laughs> Very funny. Do you know anything about the Ryzen 5 33G? 3350G. Yes, AdWords. 3350G. No, I did 4350G. No, 3350G. Oh, yeah. Um, I think it's uh, it's like an APU, if I'm not mistaken. It's, it's an okay APU, 4-core APU. Joe P is saying 5900X and 3950X on par. Uh, in terms of Premiere Pro, yes. I'm going to have to finish the live stream in a moment. But if I show you the 3900X and 39 sorry 5900x and 3950x they are on par on adobe premiere pro let me pull this out then i'll show you this over here um so check this out guys where am i is this there we go so look at this one here this is puget bench for premiere pro standard overall score look at this the 5900x and 3950x literally one point difference over here but if you're doing anything else but Premiere Pro, that means that this one will be much better. But there we go. Live playback. 5900X is better than 3950X, as you can see. It is a little bit better. And export score, uh, the um, 59, 3950X is a little bit better. But look at this. This is on par. Like we're talking less than 1% difference over here. So that's definitely their GPU score. They're literally on par there. No problem, you know, nothing there. So that's uh, 3900, uh, 5900X versus uh, 3950X. Uh, Azir is saying uh, 5900X or M1. For me, 5900X any day because the even the single core performance is like in... 1% of M1. I know M1 is like amazing um, single core speed or single core rendering performance, single core um, processor performance. But um, that's what, um, you know, is I would go with 5900X because so much more upgradeability. Um, if you do anything like rendering, pff, it would be no brainer. Max, Max, Max Goon says, I'm just here. What did I miss? You missed uh, a Nacho, a part of Nacho. I'm was saying, hola, hola, como estas? Uh, T-Legend is saying, which microphone do you use? Uh, I am using right now a Rode Wireless Go. That's wirelessly sending it over there. It's here. And then it's on this Atom Mini. It's actually saying it done. Um, Lizard SK originally saying um, is building the PC for the first time while following my Beauty and the Beast tutorial. Very helpful video, by the way. Cool. Uh, there are two 8 pin CPU connectors on X5 units. Do I need both for 3900X? Nope. Nope. Just use one. You don't need both. I don't play any games, Tech Basics, so don't play anything. Um,. Max Max Goon saying my laptop beat my desk. Okay, cool. That's cool. T Legends is saying, how do you get such a nice background blur? It's called a full frame sensor and an F1.6 right now. Let's get it on F1.4. Whoa, careful. There we go. F1.4. So that should be even more at F1.4. Look at that background blur now. Mm. There we go. That's how you get it. Um, um, which benchmark scores are the most important for you if you can only know this score? For me, if I know the Cinebench score, then that kind of tells me everything about the processor, the multi-core and single core. Um, that like kind of tells me everything. Because Geekbench is more like, I think Geekbench favors Mac um, products a lot more. And so I think, yeah, if I get 
the Cinebench scores, then that all that will do for me. Um, ah, Brian has been very kind there in the comments. Yes, definitely worth seeing what Apple's going to do with their iMacs um, because their processors are very like interesting. I wonder what do they do with the graphics because um, previously they were using you know AMD graphics on their Macs, so I wonder if they can beat that. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Thank you very much, Brian, for being so kind. It's uh, very very kind. Tech basics. Are you English or Scottish? I am actually Estonian. I live in England, but like my nationality is Estonian. Do you think Apple Silicon iMac will take the title bang for buck from AMD uh, with being more powerful, efficient and better performing? Jimmy? It, there could be some truth in it. We'll see uh, what's going to do that. I think for sure it's going to be more um, energy efficient, like for sure. But like the performance, overall performance, we'll have to see. Like subscribe, let me know if you want to see that. Maybe we could get one in um, and then test it against some of these PCs built over here and then see what the performance actually would be like. Um, Amor Fortnite is saying something in Spanish that I can't read. Um, can I do a build for lower end, 800 to 900 pounds? Yes, I have done one on my channel already before, best bang for buck budget uh, system. If you want to check that out, um, you can check that out. Uh, but there is maybe like a CPU I would change for the newer one, but I have done already one. Anyway, I think that is it now, guys. Uh, I just want to say thank you, everybody who's watching or who has been watching, who's done this, um, you know. Yeah, Brian is saying uh, wants to see how uh, Apple handles the GPUs. No idea if they will continue using AMD or create their own discrete GPU. They should go with NVIDIA, like AMD GPUs aren't that good for professional use, so that's it. Anyway, I just want to say thank you very much for everybody um, tuning in, watching, commenting. I'll see you all. I see like some of the people who are on the live uh, stream and then actually comment every day on the videos as well. So definitely, you know, doesn't go unappreciated. So thank you very much. If you have any other questions or ideas or things like that, let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you haven't done that yet, um, you know, answer some polls on the YouTube channel. Um, if you go on my channel and then underneath the community tab, there's a few polls that could be helpful to know. So there we go. Look at that. Uh, some of these few of these polls will be interesting for you. Um, just answer that. See, see how it goes. Anyway, um, you're all absolute um, legends, absolute legends. I'll see you soon. Thanks, guys, for watching. Adios.